the the other strategy for us at one point we were doing too is we were booking studio time Mm -hmm. and then we would invite said artists to come to the studio with us you know based on the studio time that we were booking and we found that to be very successful in itself too um because what we realized that no one wants to pay for studio time right so no one no one wants to pay for studio time um if you have a pseudo relationship you sometimes you can offer that that hey i got some free studio time and you know come record the tracks um what's dope with that is that you control everything and that's what i was going that's where i was going to go with it in those kind of cases you control the narrative you control everything you can create um different types of layered content videos etc because now you're in this situation social media pictures so forth and so on so now you kind of get all of those things that you wouldn't get by sending the beat out um and i think that kind of also can enhance your chances of getting things placed if you have a quote-unquote pseudo relationship like say you've you know you've kind of had some email dialogue and you're in the same city or you're going to be in the same city you can always say hey I'm gonna have some studio time. Can you pull up some? Most some artists will take that. Um, will take that, especially the ones that are really serious and hungry about it. They'll right. take the. They'll take those offers, and they'll come through. And they'll you know. And what you'll notice is that they'll re- they'll record songs really really fast. And sometimes one placement can turn into three, four placements at one time. That that investment is, is definitely worth it, you know. And if you can get a a lot of a lot of the major studios also have smaller production rooms um for, for your budget so it's it's even better if you tell them hey i'm working over here at this studio you want to pull up and just the name recognition allows 